peace. All praise and glory to the mighty most high, our creator is one God. There is none like him. I hope everybody's doing well and having a blessed day. You know, when you're in this spiritual truth, it's a difficult walk to be in this truth and trying to always walk righteous when you have so many people that are walking contrary to the most high. So we're here at Leviticus, or excuse me, we're here at... Um, Numbers 3. This is the accounts of the families of Aaron and Moses at the time the Lord spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai. And I find it odd that you have both the words sin and A-I, Sinai, as a mountain. It's just odd. That's kind of off to me, especially when we're in topic today that's so heavy of an I-A system. I believe that we do live in some type of virtual reality, that this this realm here is just as they're showing us in movies such as The Matrix, um, They Live, Westworld, uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, all these, uh, even, even the sitcom, The Addams Family. Ah, what a truth bomb that one is. The Addams Family. Imagine that, that The Addams Family is a show of a bunch of, of, of a family of the dead, the Adams family. Another truth bomb there. Uh, well, I'm trying to tell you that there's two different Adams. Hollywood is mocking you, okay? If you don't read this Bible and you don't study it and you don't know it's being said, then you're going to be in deep kimchi when it comes time. Your humiliation before the spirit of truth is going to, it's, it's going to leave you in shame, okay? You're going to feel your guilt then. The name of the sons of Aaron were Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ethamar. Those were the names of Aaron's sons, the anointed priest, who were ordained to serve as priest. Nadab and his and Abihu, however, died before the Lord, when they made an offering with unauthorized fire before him in the desert of Sinai. They had no sons, so Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests during the lifetime of their father, Aaron. And also make note here, always make note, that Aaron himself, when Moses was up at the top of the mountain, uh, receiving the Ten Commandments, which is a metaphor for the tablets of God, the tablets that are written on our left and right hemispheres of our brain. We don't need books to know what's right and wrong. The books were only to help guide us in understanding what is right from wrong. You got to study this Bible to understand and see the evil that's in the Bible. If you don't see the evil that's in the Bible, then you might want to uh, check yourself, okay? Okay, so remember, Aaron wasn't punished at all for building a golden calf in the middle of the desert while Moses was up there receiving the commandments. Okay, uh, Nadab and... Yeah, making, okay, they had no sons, so Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests during the lifetime of their father, Aaron. The Lord said to Moses, bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron, the priest, to assist him. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meetings by doing the work of the tabernacle. They are to take care of all the furnishings of the tent of meetings, fulfilling the obligation of the Israelites by doing the work of the tabernacle. Give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are the Israelites who are to be given holy to him. Appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as priests. Anyone else who approaches the sanctuary is to be put to death. So, is this happening today? Is there a sanctuary today that you could be put to death? Just asking. The Lord also said to Moses, Sorry, I get this fly that got inside my, my 
window this morning when I let the cats out. And it's kind of distracting me. It's flying around the camera here. The Lord said to Moses, I have taken the Levites from among the Israelites to place of the first male offspring of every Israelite woman. In place of the first male offspring of every Israelite woman. The Levites are mine, for all the firstborn are mine. When I struck down all the Egyptians firstborn in Egypt, I set apart for myself every firstborn in Israel, whether human or animal. They are to be mine. I am the Lord. So Yahweh requires, who's a man, requires the firstborn of every family household and the animals as well. They are the Lord's. And also remember that this Lord here is the one that rained down and killed all the animals in Egypt. But later on, there were uh, animals again. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Sinai, Count the Levites by their families and clans. Count every male a month old or more. So Moses counted them as he was commanded by the word of the Lord. These were the names of the sons of Levi. Let me ask you a question. Why does the supreme, omnipotent, self-existing, eternal power of truth need Moses or anyone to take a census of the people? If he's omnipotent and all-powerful and all-knowing, then he should know all of the people. He should know where they're all at. He should be, he should be able to make these uh, differentiations between uh, spirit and flesh. So now you have a census that's taking place with the Israelites, and I've oh, and even in Daniel, he's against censuses. He he does it, but he's he's still against the census itself, because the census is the first part of a tracking device ever. These were the names of the son of Levi: Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Go buy yourself a Ferrari. These were the names of Gershonite clans, the Gershonite clans, Libni and Shemil, Shemai, the Kohathite clans, Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uziel. And this is an angel, by the way, folks, Uziel, um, the Merarite clan, Mali and Mushi. These were the Levite clans according to their families. To Gershon belonged the clan of the Libnites and the Shimeites. These were the Gershonite clans. The number of all the male and a month old or more were counted was 7,500. The Gershonite clans were to camp on the west behind the tabernacle. The leader of the families of the Gershonites was Elisaph, son of Lael. At the tent of meetings, the Gershonites were responsible for the care of the tabernacle and tent. It covered the curtain at the entrance to the tent of meeting. The curtain, curtains of the courthouse, courtyard, the curtains of the entrance to the courtyard surrounded the tabernacle and altar and the ropes and everything related to their use. To Kohath belonged the clan of the Amorites, Izahites, Hebronites, and Uzalites. These were the Kohathites clans. The number of all the males a month old or more was 8,600. The Kohathites were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. The Kohathites, Kohathites clans were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle. The leader of the families of the Kohatite clans was Elisaphan, son of Uziel. They were responsible for the care of the ark, the table of the lampstand, the altar, the articles of the sanctuary used in ministering, the curtains, and everything related to their use. The chief leader of the Levites was Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest. He was appointed over those who were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. To Merari 
belonged the clan of the Mahalites, the Mahalites. Is that right? Mahalites, Maha, Mahalites, and the Mushites. These were the Merarites, clans. The number of all the males a month old or more who were counted was 6,200. 6, the leaders of the families of the Merarite clan was Zuriel, son of Abahel. They were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. The Merarites were appointed to take care of the frame of the tabernacle, its crossbars, posts, bases, all its equipment and everything related to their use, as well as the posts of the surrounding courtyard with their bases, tent, peg, and ropes. Moses and Aaron and his sons were to camp to the east of the tabernacle towards the sunrise in front of the tent of meetings. Why do they face the tent east to the sun? Because it's possible that the early Hebrew Israelites were engaging in sun worship, worshiping the sun as it rised each morning. This is why they face their tents east so that they can see the sun rising, or should I say uh, circling our flat earth plane in front of the tent of meetings. They were responsible for the care of the sanctuary on behalf of the Israelites. Anyone else who approached the sanctuary was put to death. The total number of Levites counted at the Lord's command by Moses and Aaron, according to their clans, including every male a month old or more, was 22,000. The Lord said to Moses, Count all the firstborn Israelite males who are a month old or more and make a list of their names. Hmm, again, a list of the names. Why does this supreme, omnipotent force, the Lord here, need a list of their names? Hmm, question, question, question. Take the Levites for me in place of all the firstborn of the Israelites and the livestock of the Levites in place of all the firstborn of the livestock of the Israelites. I am the Lord. So Moses counted all the firstborn of the Israelites as the Lord commanded him. The total number of the firstborn males a month old or more listed by name was 22,273. We got a three there, folks. Look at that. A three. A three. Holy shit, it's the first time we got an odd number in the Bible. The Lord said to Moses, Take the Levites in place of all the firstborn of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites in place of their livestock. The Levites are to be mine. I am the Lord. To redeem the 273 firstborn Israelites who exceed the number of the Levites. Collect five shekels for each one, according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs 20 gras. Give the money for the redemption of the additional Israelites to Aaron and his sons. Again, making other priests rich. So Moses collected the redemption money from those who exceeded the number redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the Israelites, he collected silver, weighing 1,365 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons, and he was commanded by the word, by the word of the Lord. Well, that is uh, Numbers chapter 3. Not really a lot for me to expand on in this um, these, this part of the stories and stuff. Um, if you have knowledge that you'd like to share with me in this lesson, please go ahead and put it down. I'm all ears. Believe me, folks. I'm only here serving the spirit of truth today, the living supreme authority. Have a great day. This is White Raptor News Ministries.